Hello and welcome to Raising the Bar. I'm Jamie Boudreau. Today we're going to go back in time a little bit and talk about an episode that uh, I feel is probably one of the most important episodes we did in terms of creating cocktails. And that was the one of, regarding the golden ratio uh, or whatever I called it back then. Um, essentially, it was telling you that if you had an aperitif and a spirit and a liqueur, if you use this ratio, you're going to make drinks that are wonderful time and time and time again. And I just want to revisit that and, and do another one of those golden ratio drinks, um, playing Mr. Potato Head again with the ingredients. Uh, just to remind you guys of how great this formula is, especially if you're a beginning bartender, just figuring out how cocktails work. So. Let's start off with this drink that I am calling the Wallingford. Uh, it is made with a healthy supply, in this case, one and a half ounces of Martin Miller's gin. Remember, with these uh, aperitif spirit forward cocktails, the ingredients are extremely important. Um, spend a couple extra bucks, get yourself good uh, aperitifs, get yourself good spirits, get yourself good liqueurs. It's gonna make all the difference in the world. So. One and a half ounces of gin. Something that is new to our market, the Kina Avignon d'Or. Uh, an aperitif, sweet, bitter. And we're doing three quarters of an ounce there. And then our liqueur, a little dry curacao, also new to our market. There's a quarter of an ounce, so again, the ratio is one and a half, three quarters, one quarter. We're gonna do a dash of Regan's Orange Bitters. I love Gary Regan, or Gaz as he likes to be called now, so. We're gonna stir this up now. Making sure we get good dilution. A good cocktail takes a little bit of time. We have a nice chilled cocktail glass if you have one. We are going to put a little bit of zest in this one. In this case, we're gonna use a grapefruit. And I'm going to zest that once again, squeeze the oils into the glass rub the glistening oils which are on the top of the peel all around the rim so that way no matter where you pick up the glass or where your guest picks up the glass you're going to get a little bit of oil i'm going to trim that down just a touch because i don't want a huge piece of grapefruit floating in my drink but just a nice good size one will do we'll roll that up a little bit more extract the last of that oil See it glistening right there, beautiful. And then, as simply as that, pour your cocktail, the Wallingford, over top of your twist. Making sure to get all that oil to your glass. And there it is, using our golden ratio, the Wallingford, gin, kina, dry curacao, dash of bitters, grapefruit twist. Light, refreshing, bittersweet, great for spring.